Hi, welcome to the CE Tool Den. And in this special episode, we're going to be going through a lot of what's going on with the Milwaukee 2023 pipeline event. And we're going to be showing the new tools. So let's start. Okay, uh, for the first part of the video, we're going to be going through some of these new pipeline tools that are being released. Some of them are going to be released as early as September. Um, I think there's going to be something in uh, August, but we'll go through it. So first of all, we're going to be talking about the brand new Milwaukee Forge 6 amp hour battery for the M18 platform. I've done some research and from what I understand, this new 6.0 is going to be equivalent to the high output 12.0 21700 cell Milwaukee battery. But this battery will have the uh, 21, I mean, the pow I lithium ion pouch cells. So it's gonna it's gonna be that pouch stack, but they're gonna be releasing in 2024 a 12.0 forge battery, but that will have a different type of uh, battery technology in it, the, which is what they're doing with their the MX fuel line, and they're gonna actually have cylindrical cells in the battery, unlike the lithium ion pouch cells in the 6.0. It's gonna be called tabless batteries. Uh, that are going to be inside these MX, brand new MX 8.0 and 12.0 batteries, as well as the M18 12.0. But as far as I understand, this 6.0 is amazing in that it's going to have that lithium ion pouch cells. You're going to be seeing this uh, sold for about $199, and it's coming out in September uh, release. As, according to what Milwaukee says, so this is this is going to be a, a nice little new type of thing. Now they're coming out with a dual supercharger, a brand new type of charger, not like the regular supercharger that you're used to for the M18 platform. This battery charger is going to be able to, in combination with the Forge battery, only the Forge battery, not the regular M18 high outputs or regular M18 batteries it will be able to charge the forged batteries to 80% in 15 minutes. That is outstanding. So it'll get you on the job site working faster and more efficient. 15 minutes, people, 80%. This is, this is outstanding. This is like awesome technology. So it's, it's gonna, and it's gonna like have the 12.0 high output power. So you're gonna be able to run some heavy duty machinery from the M18 platform on this, just on this 6.0 forge. And you're gonna have a lot of runtime as well as the power. So you're, you're getting a good combination of a lot of the things. So let's move along to the supercharger. Here it is. It is the dual bay and it's simultaneous charging. So if you're charging two batteries at once, it's gonna charge them both at the same time. You're not gonna have to worry about one at a time. And it'll charge your high output batteries, but I don't know how fast it's going to charge the high outputs. But but only with the Forge, like I said, it's going to charge the Forge batteries with the 6.0 in 15 minutes at 80%, which again, outstanding. So there you go. There's your uh, time cells. All right. So the high put. High output 12.0 is going to charge in 45 minutes, the 8.0 in 33 minutes, the 6.0 high output 25 minutes, and the 5.0 standard XC battery 42 minutes. So that's pretty good. And uh, for a full chart, wait a minute. So I want, actually that's to the 80% 80, 80 what I just read to you. For a full charge, you're looking at a 25 minute full charge on the forge, which is still outstanding. Uh, high output 12, 60 minutes. 8.0 high output 45 minutes. 6.0 high output 35 minutes. And the 5.0 60 minutes for the full charge. So that's what we're looking at. Way, way much better and faster than your standard rapid charger and standard charger. More efficient. Another awesome release. Let's head over. This has been already talked about, but this is the four and a half M18 fuel dual trigger braking grinder. 
this is a tool that I understand has that a swiveling handle. So if you look at it, it looks like it's on a. It looks like it's got a. Uh, let's see right there. Yeah, it's got a swiveling handle. So. So it'll twist. To adjust how you how you want it, it's gonna have uh, 15 positions on the handle, which is really nice. Uh, dual trigger activation requires two hands for operation, so it's going to be a two-handed type of grinder. But it also has that cutoff disc, the um, the Type 1 guard, which looks pretty cool. So definitely be able to use this with the uh, Type 1 cutting discs. And that's model number 2986-20. By the way, people, this is going to be a longish video because we're going through a lot of this stuff for pipeline coming soon there's going to be a new 14 inch mx fuel cutter saw with rapid stop brake kit and in that kit you're going to have that brand new rapid charger for their uh new new battery platform their new forge lit uh MX fuel batteries and that's going to charge those batteries those new 8.0s and 12.0s right there let me see if we can get a better picture of it no nope, can't get a better picture of that charger so this is the best picture we got Oops. really nice really nice and it has a cooling cycle so what it has is it has these fans that once you're done using these batteries, because they can get hot and you have to charge them, they have a really fast cooling cycle where they vent out, the fans vent out a lot of the heat, dissipate the heat out of the battery, and it'll go right through, which is awesome. I wish I was at the pipeline event, people, but I'm not popular enough. Don't have the clout yet, but we'll hopefully get there one day. But it, it is going to be an amazing, amazing tool. You'll be able to cut cast iron pipe, cinder block, ductile iron pipe, rebar, 5 inch depth of concrete on this tool. Really nice. Let's get to the next. The We've already seen these tools in other reviews from other people. The one key Gen 4 impact driver, hammer drill, and drill driver. Then you have your Oh, this is this is new to me. Coming soon. We have an MX Fuel 6-inch green concrete saw. That looks cool. And it also has that new supercharger for their brand new Forge batteries. Gotta love, gotta love this Forge battery thing. So it's going to charge fast. It's got a 6-inch blade on it. It does 160 feet of runtime per charge at max depth. But I don't see... It comes with the 8.0 battery, so I'm assuming that's going to be on an 8.0 battery. and That has that cooling cycle on that charger too, the brand new charger. Um, it says the, the brushless motor loads the power to cut at a max depth of 1.5 inches on a 6 inch blade. So okay, to be able to cut those, those little lines and relief channels in concrete. They're coming out with a new plate comp compactor. With that, those new batteries and charger. Same thing with the core rig. Stand batteries and charger. Here we go, people. Brand new. For 2023. I believe this one's also going to be released next month. The friction ring. This is the brand new Milwaukee M18. Half inch high torque impact wrench. It's going to have... 1,200 uh, foot-pounds of fastening torque, but that fat, that those stats are going to be with the 6 amp hour forged battery. Just keep that in mind. If you use a 5 amp hour battery, that 1,200 is not 1,200. It's going to be around 1,100 foot-pounds of fastening. With the 6 amp hour forged battery, it's going to have 1,600 of foot foot-pounds of nut busting torque. But if you use a standard 5.0, it's going to be about 1,500 pounds so you're, you're you're losing about 100 foot pounds on each uh if you use the m18 5.0 so here's the the tool the tool itself really nice 
It's what they're calling it is torque dense uh, as far as the most torque dense high torque on the market today. Meaning probably because it's the smallest size, most compact high torque compared to other high torques on the market. It delivers the most power, but I did it I, until it's tested by Torque Test Channel. We're not going to know. So let's keep on going to the next tool. It's, this is very exciting. I'm getting excited with all these new releases. We're going to, as you saw, MX Fuel is going to be a 24 inch walk behind edging trowel. With the new batteries and a 36 inch walk behind trowel kit awesome but i'm never going to be on the mx fuel line way out of my comfort zone price wise and i don't do those jobs those big giant jobs by myself so but they're also coming out with an extended reach box ratchet for the m12 line this is this is one of the ones i am looking forward to for release this one is going to be a kit but i don't have a price on it right now you're going to have a set of ratchet sockets a quarter inch hex box ratchet adapter quarter inch and three eighths anvil box ratchet adapter this comes with a two and a half amp hour battery the m12 charger and the tool itself let's see what else is on that I know that they're going to be selling the like a half inch ratchet adapter um, sold separately and you're going to have the quarter inch and the three eighths in, in this type of kit. So you'll be able to see uh, what can what it can do. It's got 60 foot pounds of max torque. It's I believe also high speed. Let's see. It's not saying high speed, but. I heard on a, another video doing these releases that this might be a high speed. If you know for a fact if it's high speed or not, uh, put it in the comments below. But it's going to have a variable speed paddle trigger, which is pretty cool. Forward and reverse shuttle to change direction. It's going to have an LED work light. This is, like I said, this is going to be a, a, a game changer for a lot of mechanics. I'm, I'm wondering if you'll be able to get something for like pass through sockets, but I don't know. No idea at this point in time. Let's see. This is the one I've been looking forward to, but we did a video on it already. Uh, but we're going to be seeing the M12 half inch router kit. This is going to be the second battery operated full size router on the market. Uh, Metabo HPT was the first, but we're going to be seeing a kit that's going to be $5.99 and it's being really, actually this one's being released this month or it's on pre-sale for this month. I'm not really sure. So let's go buy that because we already spoke about that. And now let's go. Uh, this MA, there's going to be an M18, a brand new straight gate a 16 gauge straight finish nailer uh, I, I have the current angled one i would have preferred a straight i know the angle you'll be able to get into more spaces but the straight is kind of like a standard because when you go to the stores and you need to look for a 16 gauge it's tough to find the angled at least in my you know from my in my uh experience i've had trouble finding 16 gauge straight uh angled finish nailers so this one is going to be better because you'll actually find the 16 gauge in the straight. About time they came out with one, which is awesome. They're coming out with a 5 CFM vacuum pump kit, M18 fuel, self-explanatory. Here they're, they're coming out with the 14 inch, which battery, well, I guess we've already known that they've had that 14 inch top handle chainsaw. I don't need to go there, but they're they are coming out with the brand new M18 12 inch top handle chainsaw. That's pretty cool. Um, very very nice. Uh, that, so they're coming. They have that 14 inch comes in a kit, or you can get in tool only. Here is your Forge MX Fuel 12.0 battery. There is the 
battery kit, the 12.0 with the supercharger expansion kit, and then there's your 8.0. Now, people, this is something that, oh boy, this is something to look forward to. They are going to be coming out with an M18 brushless telescoping pole pruning shears kit. Now, this is something I need. Oh boy. When I do landscaping work, getting on ladders sometimes can be a pain and a hassle. Um, and I'm short as it is. So this, something like this tool is going to be awesome. The only thing is it's not an attachment for the quick lock, but this is going to be its own tool and it's going to have a kit. Then you have the, oh, are we getting a new blower? Let's see what this is. Oh, all right. Hands down, we're getting a new M18 single battery blower. I know we have that two M8 double M18 battery, aka 36 volt uh, blower that has a 600 CFMs. This one is going to come with 500 CFMs, 120 miles per hour. It's going to offer a, a noise level of 57 decibels, up to 25% quieter. There it is, people. Brand new blower coming soon. Dang. I didn't even notice that when I was going through a lot of this stuff. So let's keep going. Get back to that blower. They are having, uh, they're coming out with a M18 red exterior laser dual slope rotary laser level kit with receiver and remote. That's pretty cool. Then they're going to have the, so that's a kit. Then it's going to be uh, just laser level tool only. We're going to be seeing a dual, uh, dual battery backpack blower. That's new. So this battery backpack blower is going to be 650 CFM, 155 miles per hour. Wow. Unbelievable. That's awesome. It's not, it's going to be comparable to a 60 cc gas blower, 62 decibels. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And then it comes, the one I just showed you was just a standalone tool only. And then it's going to come with a kit with the blower battery. That's all right. Whoa. We're getting an M12 18 gauge brad nailer. Whoa. 18 gauge brad nailer in the M12 platform. Wow. Let's take a look at what the specs are on this. So it's going to be able to shoot nails 5 eighths to an inch and a half. Power to nail hardwoods, most access and lightest weight cordless brag nailer people this and it's got that same form factor as the pin nailer this is going to be amazing wow it says coming soon so no no uh bad no price or release date what that means let's see what else we got going on we have a quick lock. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're going to be getting a lot more quick lock uh, attachments coming soon. There's going to be a quick lock blower attachment. That's going to be cool. Let's see what this says. The new quick lock attachment is going to be able to deliver, to deliver 500, and CFM, 500 CFM and 120 miles per hour. It's going to reach a total length of 66 inches when installed with the M18 fuel power head with quick lock. It doesn't say anything about the decibel levels, but I'm assuming it's going to be similar to that brand new M18. So, because the stats look like the same. Nice. This is interesting. We're going to be having a reciprocator attachment for the quick lock so this will be used for uh, it'll provide users with the ability to complete precision 
edging and trimming applications without marring obstructions or throwing excess material or debris. Our reciprocator attachment utilizes a nine inch steel blade tilling blade breaking up more hard ground. Ooh, that's interesting. Compatible with the M18 fuel power head with quick lock. So take a look at it. That's we're get, we're getting mad awesome quick lock stuff. This this is great. Wait till you see the other quick lock stuff that that's coming out. This is this looks all kind of like the edger attachment for quick lock. And this is coming soon. What does this say? The M18 fuel quick lock bed re redefiner attachment sharpens and reestablishes bed edges quickly, reaching speeds of 2,000 RPMs. The flare the flared blade reaches depth of two and three quarters inches deep and two inches wide, creating angled edges. The mud flaps and blade guard prevent debris kickback, allow for material containment, compatible with the power head with quick lock. Ooh, that looks interesting. I don't know if I'll be able to get that because I have the edger attachment and uh, well, this will provide the angles, but I mean, you can, I guess you can get away with doing it with the edger attachment, but that's pretty neat. There's another quick lock coming soon. This is the quick lock head trimmer attachment. They already have something similar to this. And this head trimmer attachment allows users to use to clear more branches up to three quarters of an inch in a single pass when shaping shrubs and seasonal pruning jobs. This head trimmer attachment features a tip guard preventing damage to blades in the surrounding work area, allowing users to be more productive and decrease maintenance time. Nice. Very nice. So yeah, I can see that that tip is a little bit different. All right. We're getting to where I need to get to when it comes to quick lock. Because I saw something earlier. We're getting a standalone M18 fuel telescoping pole saw kit. Take a look at a quick view. And this one says the brushless pop motor delivers the most power compared to the battery and gas competitors, providing 2.4 horsepower peak power or take advantage or take demanding pole saw applications. User can complete cuts up to 50% faster cut speed then leading gas competitor chain speeds of 25 ms nice but does it say the size of that i wonder if it's like a 10 inch like the attachment for quick lock um here is a m18 fuel 17 inch battery st string trimmer what's the deal with this so it's going to be a 17 inch Dual battery. So, oh, we're, this is a 36. Oh, okay. So this is going to be a, like a 36 volt, two battery trimmer. W wow. They're really going all in on that double battery platform, aka 36 volt. Then we're going to be getting a M18 Force Logic single channel strut shear kit. And that's You know that tool is going to be expensive. We're getting M18 fuel half inch controlled mid torque impact wrench with torque sense yeah not really sure about that okay here's another m12 new release an m12 brushless rotary tool which we currently have you know the m12 brush version i have that it served me very well in a lot of applications i actually love that tool but now that we're getting a brushless rotary, it's going to give me a chance to give that away. We're going to be getting an M18 Force Logic 5-inch underground cable cutter with wireless remote. A M18 Force Logic 12T Kearney linear crimper kit. We know about the M12 boroscope. And then we have more of the rotary lasers. The red exterior laser level kit. And that's there's going to be another laser level kit with the receiver let's actually let's take a look at this let's take a quick view wow that is nice i like that over mold all right so it's gonna it says the brushless rotor, rotary tool delivers unmatched performance with the fastest application speed and 30 percent higher R rpm under load when paired with our 12 M12 Red Lithium C CP 2.0 battery pack not included. 
So, RPM adjustments from 27,500 to 5,000 with 12 speed settings. Nice. The integrated collet wrench allows for quick accessory changes with an included 1 8 inch collet with compatibility for standard sizes at 1 30 seconds, 1 16, and 3 30 seconds, all sold separately. The rotary tool also features a fuel gauge and carries our industry leading five year warranty. Nice. All right, let's get back to the pop, more pipeline. Oops, I want to buy that too fast. Sorry, people. I lost my place. But I'm I'm really excited about that the M12 and Quick Lock lines, battery lines. Okay, here we go. So we just saw those. There's that MX 14 inch cutoff saw control talk. This is going to be the new M18 Bluetooth job site radio. Take a quick view of that. Dual high range tweeters deliver crisp highs. It's 3.5 inch woofers provide balance and clear sound. Nice. So that's a future release. No idea when that's coming out. This is one of the ones I've been waiting for. This is why I've been holding back. This is one of the tools I've been waiting for, people. The brand new Fuel Jigsaw. I've been holding off because I didn't want to get that other jigsaw. I've heard a lot of bad things about the jigsaw. This one is the way to go. Hold on. I'll get you a better picture. Coming soon. Uh, I believe actually in the coming soon, this is going to be released or pre-order next month in September. We have to go into this because this is the one of the ones I've been waiting for like crazy. I've been waiting for a Gen 2 because the Gen 1... Uh, I, there's a there's a lot of people. I mean, I have never used it, but a lot of people complained about the Gen One. Well, guess what? Gen Two people much better. So this jigsaw is the fastest 12 volt blade speed under load, more control in more orientations, and maximum cut line visibility. It delivers 3,000 strokes per minute at 7 8 inch stroke for clean control cuts in a wide variety of finished materials. So it's going to have that barrel grip, which is great. It's got a better over molding, better look in the fuel platform than it does under its brushed, previous brush, brushless, whatever it was, um, version Gen 1. It's got an uh, on-off LED light with the dust blower to op optimize cut line visibility for application at hand. It's going to feature orbital action with five adjustment levels. It's got a variable speed dial. That's, that's just amazing. So this is going to be a little mini beast for the 12 M12 platform. This is, this is the one I'm so excited. So I'm definitely getting this. This is going to be on the channel. This is definitely going to be reviewed. M12 and it's going to come out at about $170 from what I heard. So that's great. Here's the other quick lock. This is another quick lock attachment coming out and this is what I was saying. Quick lock's having a cultivator attachment. It utilizes a nine inch steel tines, uh, st nine inch steel tines optimized for a longer life and protective drive shaft and in increasing durability and damage from drops. So you're seeing a complete system for quick lock. It's been a long time coming. Now I wish, like say for the the brush sweeper and the rubber sweepers, I wish they were a lot cheaper. It that's the turn off about those attachments. I hope these attachments aren't costing people an arm and a leg. I know a lot of homeowners, a lot of professionals use these tools, but they are expensive. And they don't have to be. Milwaukee, lower the prices down, please. They're so expensive. They don't have to be. I know a lot of few people out there in tool world agree with me for OPE or whatever. There's going to be new heated M12 access vest kit. 
Same thing for the women's. That's the, and then here we go for the compact impact driver, the M18 versions, all brushless, not fuel. There's the hammer drill and the drill driver. And oh, I, I know they showed the 70,000 BTU force air propane heaters. We've already seen the pruning shears advertised. All right, this is new, new stuff here. There's going to be a 10 inch pack out structured tote, a 15 inch structured tool bag, and a 10 inch, uh, another 10 inch structured tote. What's the difference between these two? It's the same bag, they just doubled up. So let's take a look at the 15 inch bag. Because I know a lot of people love pack out. We love pack out here in the CE tool den. We own pack out as well as the trade stack. So all good stuff. This is going to have tear resistant layered material. Storable padded shoulder strap. 50, 50 pound capacity, which is nice. It's going to have the attack, the the bottom to attach to the pack out system. 65 total pockets. All metal hardware and YKK zippers. There's your measurements. 18 inches wide, 10 inches in depth, and 19.8 inches tall. And that's what it would look like with a lot of full tools. Nice. See more pictures. Damn, you can really store some stuff in there. Look at that bag. There's your strap, shoulder strap. And there it is on the pack out. Nice. Very nice. Let's take a look at that 10 inch. So there's the 10 inch and it says it's it's going to have 35 pockets, the YKK zippers of course, the padded shoulder strap and it's also going to connect to the pack out and as well it has a 50 pound capacity so it's similar. Let's take a look at uh, tools in this bag. That's a nice little tote. That'll carry a lot of stuff. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to be getting that, but definitely cool, cool stuff. Now, people, this is one of my favorite things when it comes to mobile storage. You guys know how I feel from my previous videos. We're going to have new draw systems coming out for the pack out. Fantastic. We're going to check this out. This is the new multi-depth three draw toolbox for the pack out it's gonna have oh sorry my battery ran out so let's get back to this i'm gonna start recording again all right so we were on the pack out multi-depth three draw toolbox so i just had to put a new battery in by the way so this pack out has a 50 pound weight capacity three draw toolbox Allows you to customize your source, your storage system for easy transportation and organization of tools and accessories. As we know, how good the pack out drawers are as they are the current ones that the current gen. So this is gonna be very similar. You're gonna have different styles of configurations with the new versions. So they're all gonna have the 50 pound capacity. Uh, you'll be able to get dividers sold separately. I think some they, they might come with some dividers, but not a lot. So we'll connect to the pack out system. Those are your measurements for the drawers. So you on the looks like on the smaller drawer you're gonna have a two and a half inch depth capacity, and the bottom drawer is gonna be five inch capacity. Let me see. Yep, five inch capacity on the bigger drawer at the bottom and the two smaller drawers are going to be two and a half inches. There's going to be a 16.3 inch width on the drawers and 12 and a half inch depth. So that's going to make a lot of room, you know, definitely a lot of different types of 
adjust adjustability and customizing in your packout platform which is great because this is one of those things that everybody in the trades need you i mean we have the, the the triple drawer the double drawer now you have one that's going to have one deeper drawer and two sh more shallower drawers and watch this so that's that version they're also coming out with a four drawer so now for people like electricians and plumbers you can put like your fittings or uh, electrical components in the smaller drawers also with the 50 pound capacity um but you have to realize not each drawer is going to be 50 pounds it's going to be 50 pounds of total capacity of weight so whatever the rated the rating is on each drawer is what you can add so probably like 12 and a half pounds this one is going to have these four drawers are going to have a 2.3 inch depth because they're the four drawers are going to be all the same size 16.3 width and 12 and a half inch in deeperness So that's what we're looking at. That's what it's going to look like. So screws, anything that small parts, it's going to be here. L look at this thing. It looks beautiful. So these are the, the new two drawers that are going to come out in this configuration form. Look how, look how nice they look on that dolly. She's beautiful. Absolutely amazing. And then you can put your custom foam inserts. And that's going to be sold separately. Unbelievable. Pack out. Working. There's going to be a magnetic rock for the pack out wall storage system. Belt clips. All different kinds of accessories. Pause the video if you want to look at it. We're also going to be getting a brand new 7200 7, watt. 3600 watt. Uh, 2.5 kilowatt uh, power supply coming soon let's take a look at that and I don't know if this is going to be using I think it looks like it's going to have an internal battery wow and there's going to be a solar adapter for this too from what I understand so you'll be able to shut set up shop anywhere on a job site start working fast and efficient that is amazing so but it doesn't give us too much information but the what i do know is that it will have a solar power attachment they're coming out with 3 8 drive expect sockets all different kinds, Torx, Hexbit, SAE metric, all kinds of stuff. Joint protectors coming soon. Uh, nine piece snap ring pliers, diamond blades, paver pad kits, all different kinds of different. You can pause the video at any time and I'll show you what you can see what's going on. I'm going to also put a link to this whole page so you can click on it and see for yourself uh what's going on with the 2023 milwaukee pipeline there's also going to be a plate compactor water tank kit nice oh there's going to be a protective boot for that uh brand new insider extended reach ratchet and here's some more accessories for the ratchet sold separately there's going to be a quarter inch hex so you can use it kind of like a screwdriver or whatever that'll accept your hex bits half inch anvil adapter box ratchet sockets so that that router if you buy it bare tool it's not gonna come with the plunger but you can buy the plunger base uh, sold separately if you want but if you want it in the kit, you're going to... So the kit's going to be $5.99. I know the tool only is going to be $3.99. But when you get the price of the plunger, I think it's... It, I, I don't want to 
say for certain. It was either they saying 150 or 189 or some something to that effect. At that, when you're already spending $400 plus that, you're probably better off with the kit. So you get the batteries, the charger, the plunge base, the fixed base. That's just me. And I know most of you are going to want this this uh, plunge base. So we'll do that. And let's see how we're doing. Okay. There's also going to be a router guide rail adapter. And you can attach that to your track saw blades, uh, track saw rails, and to your guide rails. And you can do all different kinds of cuts with your router, which is pretty cool. I'm, I'm liking that. I don't know if, because I know that the track saw is also compatible with the Festool tracks, the Makita tracks, and maybe the Powermatic tracks. I'm not sure about that one, but. Definitely the Festool and Makita. So I'm wondering if this guide rail adapter will be able to be compatible with that. I don't know yet. That's to be determined. I don't know. Like, I really want that track saw with all the tracks. But I still have my Makita 36 volt and it served me well. They're going to have a new sliding utility knife. Foam inserts. Lyman's corner tool rack. They're going to have a three-piece long long reach hose grip plier set and a two-piece long reach plier set, which is nice. These aren't going to be the made in USA stuff. This is going to be regular, probably Taiwan or something. They're also going to have a 13-inch long reach hose grip plier and a 13-inch long reach plier. They've come out recently with their Tap and die sets. So these are just more accessories for the tap and die stuff. Uh, boy. They're coming out with the new work crew necks base layer, which is nice. Soft, sh soft shell hooded jacket, free flex. So probably like give you a little bit more movement. A gridiron pocket shirt. An insulated free flex jacket, which is not heated. Actually, none of this stuff's heated. M12 heated, which is... In but still good. You're getting uh, bib overalls. They're also going to be doing a compact knife sharpener. That's pretty cool. The Diamond Ultra Wet Core Bits for that core. What is it? The M2 Steel Screw Extractor 4-piece. I actually have this. This came out recently. I haven't been able to put it to use yet. But it is on my list to, to test it out and review it. And see how good these are. Uh, I think I paid around 20 bucks on, I want to say Acme Tools. But I haven't used it yet, so maybe I'll, there'll be a place for me to use those. There's going to be a the M12 Brushless Pruning Shears Holster. I recommend something like that because pruning shears, dangerous tool. Very dangerous, and then there's blades for the pruning shears. There's going to be work skin base layer pants. And a new magnetic attachment with the Phillips head bit set three piece. I have that. I've recently bought that, but still in the package because I haven't used it. I have like the DeWalt version, the Craftsman version on that. And I think I might have a Makita version. So they, they've come out recently too with the nitrous carbide uh, oscillating multi tool blades. And we're going to be testing those because we have them in the shop. We have the Extreme Materials and this is Extreme Metal. So I bought the three packs at Acme Tools. These are made in the USA. There's a little made in the USA. We're going to be testing those on some stuff. Some metal, wood, wood with metal. They've done some tests at they're doing you can see it at pipeline on, on some of these other channels that are doing the pipeline that are actually at the pipeline uh cutting and these carbide uh oscillating multi-tool blades real deal people now how they compare to my favorite imperials or the diablo ones that's to be decided they're coming out with some new 
Impact Duty 3H Drive sockets, more sockets, another size utility knife, new pry bar, a smooth faced hybrid claw finish hammer. There's your M uh, Milwaukee USA tools, which I'm still waiting on my cutting diagonal cutting pliers, which I haven't gotten yet. It's starting to get annoying. More accessories. There's a supercharger. And that'll that's it for Pipeline 2023. As far as I know, this is this might be all of it, but stay tuned. There could be more. I don't know. But we're gonna be doing more tests, more reviews. If you like this video, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and enjoy pipeline event i'm enjoying everything that's coming out maybe there's more stuff coming out and we'll be seeing more but as always have yourselves a good day good night and let's get to a thousand subscribers we're only 298 away as of this moment and let's get it going on let's do that thousand subscriber giveaway pipeline 2023 milwaukee you have surprised us you have made us feel right for a lot of these new releases. You are doing excellent. Keep the good job. Keep going.